Part 1. White Clouds. Verdant Rain Moon. Tower of Black Winds. The ceaseless rains that satiate the verdant landscape of Fodlin are accompanied by fierce winds and mighty roars of thunder. This abundance of rain, sparkling as it falls against beams of emerging sunlight, is a constant reminder to the people of Fodlin that nature is ever wild and unpredictable. For when the rain finally does take pause, the clouds part and give way to a glorious rainbow. I have a new mission for you, Professor. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom territory to eliminate some thieves. They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, the Lands of Ruin. Their leader's name is Miklan. He is apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. I believe it had something to do with his lack of a crest. Such happenings are fairly common within the Kingdom. The Crestless cannot unleash the Goddess's power even if they possess a relic. Nonetheless, they are still capable of simply wielding those weapons. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator which is more than capable of opposing any relic. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the Monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. I must remind you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that holy sword. Also, you should know that Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. Professor, I heard about our mission for this month. A thief with a hero's relic is worrisome, but with you at our side, I'm certain we can handle him. After all, you have the Sword of the Creator. It was allegedly wielded by Nemesis, the King of Liberation. If the legends are true, you hold the power to stand against entire armies. A band of thieves should be nothing. Even the most elite Imperial forces or the Knights of Saros could not hope to defeat you. I'm just marveling at the potential. Besides, your power does not lie solely in the sword of the Creator. You are stronger and more terrifying than you realize. Professor, when we leave the monastery, will you still think of yourself as my teacher? <sighs> Never mind. I'm being thoughtless with my words. For now, let's just focus on the problem at hand. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the Sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description, which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain. 
the crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The Crest of Flames. That is what you possess. Your ability to wield the Sword of the Creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power, dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected. There can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you. Ghost, perhaps? No, that is surely not the case. What is that look upon your face? I am no ghost, if that is what was on your mind. No. Uh, huh? Who's there? Professor, what are you doing here? Oh? Perhaps I was talking in my sleep. Ah, oh, so you heard me then. Yes, it was a nightmare. I've had them since I was a child. Stupid, pointless dreams I can't control. It's terribly frustrating. Just... my childhood. A time before I had realized who I was destined to become. I had a feeling you'd say that. I suppose I could try, but only if you swear not to tell a soul. I appreciate it. I dream of... my older brother, paralyzed, helpless. My older sister crying for help that never came, the youngest babbling words beyond meaning. I see my family dying slowly, waiting in the darkest depths for a glimmer of light. I once had ten siblings. Eight older and two younger. Such a large family, and yet I became the heir to the throne. Do you know why? Every last one of them was crippled by disease, or lost their mind, or died. I was the only one left who could inherit the throne. Things kept getting worse. The darkness kept getting darker. In the end, I was the only one who survived. The nightmares are a reminder to never forget, to never allow such terrible things to happen again. Even now, I'm the only one who can carry the weight of the Adrestian Empire. The future of the Empire, of everything, depends on me. Hmm. I shared more than I intended to. I suppose there's something in the air tonight. I've never told anyone about my past before. Please, forget I said anything. Sleep well, my teacher. This place. It's so beautiful, I believe I should take a nap and enjoy it properly. Linhart. Lost in thought, I see. Unacceptable. Are you not aware that a noble's duty is to be ever vigilant? Rest increases alertness. Is there something I can do for you, Ferdinand? Well, I was just passing by, and I thought I could give you a little advice. You always seem to be napping. Why not spend your free time doing something productive? Easier said than done, Ferdinand. I'm afraid I suffer from a constitution that tires easily. Hmm. <laughs> Some training will remedy that. Let us work on that today. I will train you myself. Arise, Linhart. The righteous path of the noble lies before you. You're always giving it your all, aren't you? 
Yes, I am. Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. In fact, I rather enjoy your demeanor. You go all out even when others wish you wouldn't. You work hard, inspire the admiration of others, and your dignity as a noble is beyond reproach. I consider it my mission to serve as a guide and a model for other members of the nobility. As capable as you are striking, next to you I am a mere infant. Oh, you are far too kind. Although I do work hard each day to achieve all of which you speak. You've mastered all the important noble skills. You drink tea, talk about how great you are, ride horses. Indeed, I went for a ride earlier today. Is that so? You'll have to tell me about it sometime when I'm not walking away. Hmm? Where are you going? Oh, I must get some sleep, being the infant that I am. Farewell for now, Ferdinand. Oh, noble among nobles. Noble among nobles? Seems a bit much. Did he say get some sleep? Hey, wait! here. Flowers are so calming. Just looking at these, it's like all the terrible parts of the day just disappear. If only people could be more like flowers. What's Burn doing? She looks like there's something wrong. All these nobles are just terrifying. And the commoners? Just look at Dorothea. So pretty, popular, dazzling. There's no way someone like me could ever be close with someone like that. Burn, are you okay? <laughs> Dorothea! Did you hear all that? Just the part about you wishing you could get along with someone. So, Burn, who have you got a crush on? Seriously now, you have to tell me. Who are they? Do I know them? <sighs> I'm so excited for you, Burn! Um, no. I was actually thinking about being friends with you. Me? I thought we already were friends. That's n not what I mean. Oh, I'm such a coward. I thought it would be great if we could be closer, but old memories just get in the way for me. Burn, whatever happened in the past, you know you have my full support. I'm here for you. I thought we'd already been friends for a long time now. Please, just forget it. We'll never be close friends. Father would just... He would just... <laughs> Wait, I... Father? What did she mean by that? A stone? A stone. I do not understand. Yet, as I think of it, the pounding in my chest grows faster still. But is that me? Or is it you? Hmm. Hey, I could use a hand.
Thanks. I'm glad I asked you. Western Church, the Central Church. They believe in the same goddess, but oppose one another. Fodlin is a complicated place. Yeah. Hey there. Sorry that the kingdom's unrest did not stop with Lord Lonato. Professor, the hero's relics are incredibly powerful. Please, be on your guard. <laughs> Mercedes. Her face looks familiar. Swinging a sword about in a holy mausoleum? The potential for damage is too great to imagine. I sincerely hope the saints' coffins were not damaged. Were you using magic? I've heard you weren't, but... Ugh, it's torture not being able to go inside the holy mausoleum for an entire year. have a crest too, eh, Professor? Does that mean you're descended from nobility? You've certainly got the look for it. <laughs> I sure do wish there were more nobles like you, Professor. A teacher, a mercenary, and so very mysterious. How could a girl ever get enough? Professor! Professor! If you're heading to the kingdom, I would recommend taking a coat. It's chilly, even at this time of year. It also rains a fair bit. Don't get caught out there without protection, or you're sure to catch a cold. Hello. Aristocrats are fools, allowing their lives to be dictated by their crests. Though, I suppose I am much the same in that regard. I thought school life would be peaceful and quiet, with a sprinkle of drama to keep things interesting. But since you arrived, it's been one thing after another. Is that just a coincidence, I wonder? Oh, I was just kidding. Anyway, as I said before, I do like having a little drama in my life. That reminds me. The Leicester Alliance is governed through roundtable conferences between the five most prominent allied dukes, the five great lords. First and foremost is Duke Regan, the Alliance's leader. Joining him are the heads of House Goneril, House Gloucester, and House Ordelia. Lastly, there is the newest addition, Margrave Edmund. These five each have voting power in the conferences. Before House Edmund, it was House Daphnel that was counted amongst the five. However, it is said that the head of that family relinquished their vote to House Edmund, which had only recently risen to significance. <sighs> hey, Professor! Don't you think everyone's making too big a fuss over these crests, or heroes' relics, or whatever they're called? How important can that stuff really be? Personally, I don't even care that I don't have a crest. 
I'll take muscles over crests any day. Heck, I'll take muscles over a hot meal. Actually... Hello. Yes. This has been my first time to the Kingdom's North. I hear the people of North are cold and have much loneliness. Professor, I hear you have had work... Uh have worked as a mercenary in the kingdom. Did you find joy in this? You cannot remember? Is that having possibility? I have amazement. I heard a relic was stolen. If this had something to do with a family conflict, I don't think I could choose a side. What if it's some kind of powerful weapon? I want one too. I know relics aren't easy to come by, but I'd still like to get my hands on one. What the? Hey, you. So. Ah, oh, Professor. Geralt was looking for you. It seems he has gone off somewhere. If he is not in his room, then surely someone has seen him. Ask around. I have something to ask of you. I have something to ask of you. must be rather bewildered by the power that was hidden within. However, know that I believe in you. I have no doubt that you will use that power justly. You will most certainly fulfill the grand destiny that the Goddess has seen fit to grant you. May I ask a favor of you? Ask a favor of you. May I ask a favor of you? I'm pleased to have been invited. I am grateful. I sense great potential in you. You possess something extraordinary. I see. Of course. I appreciate this. How quickly this delightful time has passed. However, we must return to our work. I appreciate your effort. Gerald? I just saw him in the Knight's Hall a little while ago. He was talking with a female knight, but I didn't get a good look at who she was. <laughs> oh my! The Crest of Flames? Could it really? Yes, the actual Crest of Flames! <laughs> no, 
That is quite enough. I should compose myself. I must remain objective in my research. Objective. Professional. <sighs> the scandal with the Western Church troubles me. We cannot afford to let ourselves be swept along, and yet... I think Professor Hanneman's been acting a bit... strange? Maybe he's made some kind of big discovery. Maybe... The assassination attempt on Lady Rhea, the theft of a hero's relic. I am up to my ears in foul news of recent. Speaking of, there's a terrifying rumor swirling around Garrig Mach these days. Apparently, a spirit of death wielding a huge scythe has been kidnapping young maidens. Will the madness never end? to ask you to join me, but I couldn't find you. So, here I am. I was thinking we should visit your mother. She's resting beneath this humble grave. Hmm? Oh, of course you would ask that. I wouldn't know where to begin. I suppose I haven't talked much about her. She was gentle and smart. Oh, so smart. A wonderful cook. Always kind to everyone. And she loved flowers. Whenever I brought her back an unusual flower, her face would light up. I cherish those memories. <laughs> I can't count how many times she made me happy just by smiling. And she smiled the most when she was pregnant with you. She died right after you were born. She wasn't able to spend much time with you. But she loved you with all her heart. That's the truest thing I know. Never forget it. This ring is the only keepsake I have of her. In time, it will be yours. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Well done. You have my thanks. past earlier. That wasn't Lord Rodrigue, was it? House Fraldarius is a powerful noble family, linked to the founding of Fargus. Lord Rodrigue, its current leader, is a magnificent warrior. He's known as the Shield of Fargus. A dozen or so years ago, during the northern campaign in Srang, he performed splendidly as the king's right hand. Come to think of it, wasn't there someone from House Fraldarius amongst this year's students? You acquitted yourself honorably last month. To think they'd go into the Holy Mausoleum and assault the Goddess Tower. I cannot imagine the Western Church was acting on its own. Someone must have been helping them. As for the Masked Knight who escaped, his days are numbered. I hope we find him soon, so I can kill him myself. I am Rodrigue Achille Fraudarius. I bear the great honor of serving as a lord in the Kingdom of Fargus. I have come in Margrave Gautier's stead to retrieve their stolen relic. However, as I hear it, a group of students is to attend to this matter. I sincerely hope no harm comes to any of them. Hey, uh, Professor. I can't believe my own brother is the leader of the bandits. 
House Gautier is my true home. And his. Please, Professor. He really is one of the worst people I've ever known. But we still... We share the same blood. We're still family. Professor. Oh. Quite so. The head of the Western Church holds the title of Bishop. That's not as distinguished as an Archbishop, such as Lady Rhea, but it still comes with a fair amount of authority. If someone in that position plotted an assassination, I cannot help but think it must have been instigated by some outside force. There are bishops in the Eastern Church as well, but to speak frankly, they do not have much impact. They are under the influence of both the Archbishop and the Leicester Alliance, so their ability to voice grievances is quite limited. Some people are unhappy because they don't have the crest they want. And some are unhappy because they have a crest they never asked for. Hmm, the coffin of Saros in the Holy Mausoleum should have held her remains. Instead, it held the sword of the Creator. What could it mean? Professor, nothing to report. Oh, come to think of it, last month there was something to report, wasn't there? Thanks to you, I hear that everything was resolved. I never realized that bandits had entered. I'm not a great guard after all, am I? I hope you will forgive me one day. I could use your help. Could you help me out? Knew I could count on you. Hey there. Is this a there you go? 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 Come back anytime. What do you require? Farewell. <sighs> Professor, please leave Sylvain alone for the time being. The thing is, the bandit's leader who stole the relic is Sylvain's disinherited older brother. Hail, Professor. If I may introduce myself, I am Gilbert. My life has been spent as a dedicated knight. I am to accompany you on your assignment. I may have slowed a step in recent years, but I pledge to you the full extent of my abilities. No, Professor. The pleasure is all mine, I assure you. I have heard that someone from House Gautier, one of the Kingdom of Fargus's noble families, is causing some sort of commotion. <laughs> what a complete disgrace to the nobility. Hello? For a hero's relic to be stolen, it's unheard of. And just last month, the Sword of the Creator was almost stolen too. Also quite unheard of. What impudence. For House Gautier to invite us onto their land, they must be desperate. But at least we'll have the stalwart knights ready to stand around and watch us do all the work. Hey there, Professor.
Professor. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. Word on the street is you wield some amazing sword. If you ever want to sell it to me, I'd pay top G. <laughs> Just kidding. Sorta. It's, uh, not for sale, is it? <laughs> hey. Ah, oh, I can eat so much of this stuff. My stomach's growling just thinking about it. Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. like this, but it's been a while so I'm not sure. I would be liking that greatly. <laughs> Petra, how are you doing? Getting used to life here? I am settled. Everyone shows great kindness. I'm glad to hear it. I was so surprised when you first arrived. A princess all the way from Bridget. You have my gratitude. But please do not call me princess. You are making my cheeks blush. There's nothing to blush about. You're every little girl's dream of what a princess should be. Anyhow, I suppose it's been a long time since you've been back to Bridget, hasn't it? I hope you aren't homesick. Maybe we can cook one of your favorite dishes from back home. I do wish for that, but there is no possibility. The ingredients are not found here. I suppose you're right. That's probably why they don't cook the food of Bridget in the dining hall. I'm sorry, I just got to thinking about how hard it must be to live somewhere so far away from home and... No, it can't be impossible. I'll fix you a real meal of Bridget. I'll just find a recipe and similar ingredients. Wait, Dorothea. It is the thinking that counts, but your cooking is... what is the word? Horrendous. That is what everyone is saying, anyway. Horrendous? Nobody's cooking can be that bad. The thinking is enough for me. You have my biggest gratitude. Fine, I'll do something instead of cooking for you. I just want to be sure that you feel at home here. How about a massage? That may help you loosen up. I have no problems. My body is already able to relax. Oh? Then perhaps I could sing you lullabies to help you sleep. I'm not having sleeping trouble. Just know that you never have to worry about putting me out. I like helping my friends. Well then, I must be going, but remember my offer. Dorothea is filling my heart full. <laughs> So, still. Wait, is it swimming sideways? Perhaps, perhaps it is resigned to its woeful fate of being plucked from the water and eaten. Ah, Professor, you are so outgoing with all of the students. I would like to have more opportunities to connect with you, though I am certain my brother would disapprove. Might you help me with a favor? 
what happened with the rite of rebirth. The infirmary. Well, it was a mess. Things are finally calm again. And so I've come here to unwind. Let me tell you, I put all of my knowledge to use keeping those kids alive. Still, the truth of it is that when someone faces death for the first time, well, they figure out who they are. They learn if they can do it again. We can't lose them, Professor. Not to battle or to cowardice. If you can keep them going, then I will too. Professor. Thank you. I'll gladly take this. I appreciate your effort. for a bit? Somewhere a little more... private? I'm just gonna come right out and say it. I find you a little difficult to be around. I know, I know. I'm your student and you're just trying to watch out for me. But the way you look at me sometimes, it's like you're seeing right through me. Don't worry. I know you don't mean anything bad by it. I'm just too self-conscious, I guess. The thing is, I don't have anything to call my own. No land, no birthright, no fortune. Little knowledge or battle skill. I think that's why I always clung to my popularity as a diva. Even after leaving the stage behind, I sort of kept up the act. When I look at you, it's like your eyes are accusing me. Telling me that you see right through it. That's what I mean when I say it's difficult being around you. Hey, uh, this might be nuts, but maybe you could show me some kind of weakness of yours? You know my biggest fear. If I know one of yours, maybe I'll feel less... I don't know... vulnerable. Excellent. Well then, don't mind me. You know, Professor, I never hear any gossip about you. <laughs> of a romantic nature, I mean. Would I be right in assuming you're not very... experienced with romance? Maybe we should find out somehow. Um, 
Professor? What's with you? Why aren't you reacting to anything I'm doing? Oh, come on. Is your heart even beating? You're making me lose my confidence. <laughs> Don't be so silly. Huh? It really isn't beating? Is what I'd say if I were more gullible. <laughs> You're just fooling around, Professor. I'm not sure how you did it, but that was a good one. Right. Okay. I'm I've had a chance to spar with Gilbert of the Knights of Seros before. I couldn't get a single strike in! If that man is accompanying you on your assignment, you can rest assured that no harm will come to you. To be honest, he kind of reminds me of someone. But no, it must be my imagination, right? Right. You guys have it bad in your own way. But believe me when I say, we've got it bad too. With all that happened last month, a great many knights were dispatched to the Western Church, and now we must set out for the Eastern Church, located in the far east of the Leicester Alliance. If I must die in Alliance territory, I wish it wasn't in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. I'd much rather go on a sightseeing trip to Deirdre. Oh, you don't know? Deirdre is House Regan's domain. It's called the Aquatic Capital. was missing from her coffin, but they found a sword in its place. Do you think she moved from her coffin and left the sword behind? So the whole plan to attack the monastery was some plot devised by the Western Church? That means they used Lenato. What right do they have to drag a good man like him into their schemes? You have helped me so much! of a creator belonging to the ancient king nemesis you have to master it as soon as you can i can't wait to face off against such a legendary weapon hey uh, i heard about the things you did i'm so glad lady ray is safe i figure you're a great person after all professor Teach, I hear you were able to use the Sword of the Creator. That means... What does that mean? Could it mean that you're a descendant of Nemesis, the King of Liberation? I'd never have learned... 
something. Ah, understood. Apologies. I lost time while I was training. There are not many chances for real fighting here. My body is more weak than it was. Weaker, I mean. I will keep training now. I hope your night is good. I need to have more training. There are things that I have not done yet. Things that have to be done. For the future. I have to try with hardness. Training. Studying. Socializing? I will not always be having time to do those things. And speaking the language of Fodlin, I worry I will never be doing it just right. Why? Because... The position of Bridget is weak. Fodlin and Dagda are big. Bridget is a small island in the middle of them. Bridget has great beauty but little power. We will not have, uh, will not survive unless we get more strength. I will lead Bridget, and so I have responsibility. I have to have more strength than anyone. Having more strength than anyone might be un, uh, impossible, but I have to give it my best try. I am an ally of everyone and I have belonging at the Officer's Academy. That is also why I try with hardness. You can always be counting me. I mean, counting on me. But you should know that one of these days will be when I return to Bridget. Before that day, do not try stopping me from trying. And please, keep watch... watching over me. With you, I can try with more hardness than I could alone. I do not believe I am required to team up with you. I would rather work with almost anyone else. But I will do what needs to be done. Hmm. Of course, we will both do what we have to. 
But do not drag me down to your level. We could have done better if we had each been more willing to compromise. You are right about that. We were both stubborn for foolish reasons. I'm getting it. I'm a quick study. I'm closing in on expertise. I will get the victory. I will prevail. As you wish. Stay focused. That's my cue. Ugh. Battle. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Oh no. Victory.
created this. be awful losing to me. If only my research had such results. Is that another step forward? That was fun to watch. Hard for nothing. Any experience is worth having. Stronger. 
Go down so easily. Growth is a part of life. This can't be right. Victory. Started.
That makes I will humbly Tell me. Tell me. Let's. I'll get. Thanks. Thanks for your. You have. I. You are. Your guide. You have. Professor. It seems I am discovered. I suppose that means assassination is out of the question. At least for now. Unusually watchful. Difficult to steal upon in slumber. Perhaps an odorless, tasteless poison. Lady Edelgard certainly took interest in a difficult one this time. I suppose that question does warrant a response, considering it may mean your life. The answer requires me to explain some of the complex internal politics of the Empire. Are you familiar with Volkard von Arendelle? He is Lady Edelgard's uncle. You may also know him as Lord Arendelle, the Empire's regent. Many years ago, he took Her Majesty and fled to the Kingdom of Fargus. Then after a time, he returned to seize power. Joining forces with Prime Minister Ire and my father, Lord Arendelle rendered Emperor Ionius IX politically impotent. Lady Edelgard is Ionius IX's daughter. I cannot begin to fathom the depth of her sadness at his betrayal. I see something of Lord Arendelle in you. When I look at you, I feel I can almost see a second self lurking beneath the surface. It is as if you are in constant dialogue with something inside your heart. Something with desires very different from your own. Does that description feel familiar to you at all? Because to me, you seem unpredictable. As though you could turn traitor at any moment. The more I learn about you, the less I like. I had thought you might be of use to Lady Edelgard, but now I am beginning to think you may, through no fault of your own, present too great a risk. I hope you will prove me wrong, Professor. I would hate for this to come to bloodshed. Look at this beautiful achievement. Hubert was no help at all, though. Your inability to face reality is just another reason you are inferior to Lady Edelgard. Impressive. Thanks. Training again. You're certainly working hard, Caspar. <sighs> oh, Edelgard! You scared me, you should have said something. I did, but no matter. What has your training with such intensity? 
It's never good to neglect one's training, but overdoing it is ill-advised as well. You could already give any student here a battle they wouldn't soon forget. You think so? Well, thanks. I appreciate that. I can't really stop training, though. I gotta get better if I expect to get anywhere in this world. If memory serves, you're the second son of House Burglies, right? That's right. My older brother is the heir, and there are already too many mouths to feed in our family, so I can't count on any support. I pretty much have to make it on my own, you know? I understand. It's difficult being born a noble. Those who inherit everything also inherit great burdens, but the same can be said of those who inherit nothing. What are you talking about? I don't have any troubles. Who cares if I don't inherit anything? It just means I get to cut a path to my own future. You know what your problem is, Edelgard? You always have to make everything about you. Are you picking a fight, Kaspar? Hey, now come on. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Always happy to fight, though, if that's what you want. Uh, I have no desire to bicker with you. Good luck with your training. Goodbye. What was that about? You'll never understand her. I'm not finished with you! I am Caspar! What's going on, Hubert? You need something? I watched you training earlier. Pitiful display. Uh, excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? You yell before every move. I know. I do it on purpose. It's how I get fired up. Is that a problem for you? You scared? Stupid habit. If you value your life, you'll break it. What are you talking about? It sounds like you might have a problem with me. As a matter of fact, I do. If it was only your own idiotic life at stake, I wouldn't bother saying anything. But it's not. Your foolishness hurts everyone. Ooh, you sure do love to hear yourself talk. Suppose you were to shout on the battlefield as you did in your training today. It is very likely the enemy could anticipate your next move based on your insipid blather. And what if your allies are startled by your outburst and fumble with their weapons as a result? This is not to mention the obvious fact that you would utterly botch any covert operation. You really think I'm that stupid? I only shout when it's completely necessary. I don't do it all the time. Whatever habits you develop in training, you will reproduce on the battlefield. Combat is tense and frantic. You will default to your training whether you mean to or not. Hey! Why don't you just shut up about it? I can control myself. And that one goes there. Perfect. Oh, hey, Bernadetta. What's going on? Ah, enemy! Enemy's here! We're under attack! Help! Someone! Anyone! Help! I'm the one who came here for help. I guess I'll just take care of it myself. I can't believe I got hurt trying to break up someone else's fight. It's ridiculous. All I do is step in to calm them down, and the next thing you know, they're both at my throat. Hey, you ever been in a fight? Fight? You're challenging me to a duel? No, 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 I can't! I've never fought anyone in all my life! I surrender! You win! Uh, all right. That was easy enough. Not to be rude, but do you ever think that maybe your attitude makes you a little unapproachable? You should try stepping outside and socializing. I'm sure you'd make friends in no time if you didn't waste it all in here. Outside? In no time? Oh, sure, yeah! Why didn't I think of that? Well, maybe it's just not as easy for me as it is for you. Did that ever cross your mind? Why wouldn't it be? Making friends is easy. This one time, I even made friends with someone I'd just been in a fight with. I think it was the gorgeous view that did it. <laughs> uh, we really shared a moment. Come on, let's go check it out. <laughs> Hold on, what are you doing? Please don't touch me. Ah, put me down, put me down. Calm down, I'm just gonna carry you out of here. Easy does it. And here we are. See, it wasn't so bad, now was it? And what about this view? Gorgeous, right? So this is what death is like. Didn't expect it to be so sudden. Come and claim me, sweet death. But first, 
Let this evening sun wash clean my imperfect soul. Hey, now don't go dying on me, Bernadetta. It's just the sun. Huh? What? Where am I? Oh, it's pretty. Such a lovely view. Thanks to you, Professor. A true noble never fails. As expected. Get the victory. Put me in there. As you wish. Ugh. Battle. Stay focused. I will prevail. That's my cue. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I have no need of you. How humiliating. I still have a long way to go.
so much better. I'd rather be napping. I think I'm improving. No hesitation. Should I have held back? Such power dwells within. Truly amazing. Am I done yet? What did I expect? Helpful. One more success. Hard work created this. Didn't even enjoy it. It's over. Each battle a chance to grow. Your skill is impressive. Bye. <laughs> 
adventure. The mark of nobility. Hard for nothing. All I can.
repaid. I think I'm improving. Well done. You have my thanks. Petra's really nice. Never yells, never says mean things about people. Maybe she'd be my friend. Oh, there she is now. Okay, Bernie, you can do this. Bernadetta, are you needing help with something? <laughs> How did you know? Do you have eyes in the back of your head or something? I do not have that, no. Right. Um, can I ask you something? Do you want to, um, maybe, uh, be friends or something? Maybe, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't like me. I don't know what you think of me. What I am thinking? I am thinking that you remind me of prey. <laughs> what? Yes. Like a rabbit in the tall grass, always watching for enemies. And you flee at any sign of danger. You are quick also. I must be careful that I am not hunting Bernie when I take out my bow. Oh, you try not to shoot me. That's, um, nice. You have similarities with prey. That is all I mean to be saying. S so you're saying you might end up hunting me? There is no need to have concern. I will make sure my arrows are not hitting you. Th that isn't comforting! Whatever I did to deserve this, forgive me! You do not need forgiveness, but it is yours if you are wanting it. Was I saying something wrong? I've passed, have I? Hmm. 
I passed? Well done, me. A new path to tread. This weather is unfortunate. Those villagers were right when they said a storm was brewing. But they were more afraid of an attack than they were of the storm. Let's end this quickly. The thieves have taken Conan Tower as their base. There it is in the distance. Miklon must be more skilled than your average thief to have overtaken a place like that. This area was the site of a massive battle several hundred years ago, when invasions from the north were at their peak. This tower was built for both surveillance and defense. It will be difficult to seize it. You know your history, Gilbert. If I recall correctly, you're from the kingdom, aren't you? I left my home long ago. If you have any questions about the mission, I'd be happy to answer them. House Gautier has always placed great importance on whether or not someone bears a crest. Margrave Gautier has two sons. A crest never manifested for his eldest. It's not hard to imagine why he left, and wound up in this sort of life. There's no reason that crests should have the power to dictate someone's destiny. Don't you agree, Gilbert? He was just another victim of cruel fate. Forsaken by the goddess, who now demands his execution.
The enemy is close by. We're almost to the top floor. They have nowhere left to flee, so the situation is in our favor. All we have to do is chase them down. Put me in there! As you wish. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Stay focused. I will prevail! That's my cue. Ugh. Battle. I will get the victory. Oh no. Getting started. Captain's in trouble. Hurry up, you fools! Enemies approach from the lower floors. Watch the rear flank. Make them tremble! Right? The mark of nobility.
not enough. Ten child's play. Not enough. I'm no stranger to battle. This is my duty. Hardly worth my time. Any experience is worth having. Ah, it's clear to me now. Not enough. Shut up. 
You fought well. We must all do our part. This was beneath me. expected. I still have much to learn.
Victory. Ferdinand von Eich. <laughs> Always getting stronger. That's my cue. This is going to hurt, okay? Many skills, you know. Not quite what I was after. Your scorn. I'm stronger than I look. Cannot lose. <laughs> you should be honest. As you wish. Stay focused. That is that. Such power dwells within. 
I will get the victory. Put me in there. No one makes it past me. Pretty good, don't you think? Oh no. I will prevail. Your defeat was inevitable. For Lady Edelgard. Appreciate it. If only my research had such results. What a jump! You'll be repaid. This strength will serve Lady Edelgard well.
So, you think you can take the lance from me, huh? I'll kill you. I'll kill every last one of you! Seems fun enough. I will use the strategy. Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. What the hell? Fighting such a thing? Then listen well to what I say. An evil power has caused them to grow quite large. Their life force is beyond a mortal like yourself. You cannot win unless you fell them twice, or even thrice. Even if you've cornered one, you cannot let your guard down. Those things are even worse when threatened. Can you see that barrier? It is surrounded by great power. You must break through to fight that thing. A strong attack or gambit might help to break through more quickly. If you can break the barrier, that power will have nowhere else to go, and that will likely cause confusion for that thing. It cannot counter while confused, which means that is the best time to attack. If you break down all of their barriers, not only will they be confused, they will not be able to move for a short while. Without the power flowing around them, they will not be able to restore their barriers. You might even be able to get something from them. They have such might that they will not fear you alone. But a battalion could prove useful on that front. Attack them with a gambit to draw their attention and force them to target you. Be on your guard when they have realized their full power. The damage caused at times like that is not contained to just one spot. Once they have charged some power up, their barriers will be restored. You really must pay close attention to those things. Distract them with a gambit, or just take them down before they can attack. In any case, think carefully before you act. But you should be conquering that thing instead of talking to me. If you're out of questions, get over there and fight! Such is the fate of one whose life is corrupted by a crest stone. How pitiable. The least we can do is put an end to his suffering.
and shrimp. What's no, 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 Beast is gone, yet Miklon and the Lance remain. It is done. Let's retrieve the Lance and depart at once. was swallowing him whole. Upon that sight, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well, as one who wields the sword of the creator. Does that mean you possess that power too? Professor, you have returned. The goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. 
See to it that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. If someone without a crest were to wield the relic you possess, they would likely meet the same fate as Miklon. You, however, have been chosen. You are worthy of wielding the sword of the Creator, so there is no need to worry. The Church will formally return the lance to House Gautier, if you would. You have my gratitude. I can see that I was right to trust you with this. Please report back. I will tell you of your new mission for the coming moon at that time. I assume the Archbishop was pleased with your performance. Did you return the Lance of Ruin? I keep thinking about what Gilbert told us. Yes, Miklon was discarded by his family because he was born without a crest. Eventually, he became a masterful thief and gathered enough ruffians to capture a fortress. Right or wrong, he was a gifted leader. He could have been a great asset to Fodlan. What a waste! It's true that a crest can increase your magical abilities and allow you to wield the full might of a hero's relic. But one cannot measure a leader's worth based solely on whether or not they bear a crest. There are plenty of talented people in this world without one. People believe crests are blessings from the goddess, that they're necessary to maintain order in Fodlin. But the people are wrong. Crests are to blame for this brutal, irrational world we live in. Their power is granted only to a select few, whom we elevate and allow to rule the world. Have you ever wondered if the only way to create a truly free world is to dispense with the goddess and the crests? Do that, and people will have no choice but to rise and fall by their own merits. Lady Edelgard? I question whether you revealed too much to the Professor. Perhaps I did. It is true that our teacher possesses a rare talent. Even I cannot deny it. The ability to wield the Sword of the Creator is concerning. I've already explained this to you. My power alone is insufficient. That's why I'm borrowing power from those people. If our teacher can wield it in my stead, I believe that would be for the best. It's a risk. A dangerous one. You leave me no choice but to take matters into my own hands. Please excuse me. I can't hide from the truth. I can't do all that I must on my own. If all I can rely on is my own ambition, my path won't be easy. Is it so risky to reach out my hand? Father, I swear I will not stop until I succeed. My regret, my grief, my whole life. I've thrown it all away into the darkness. Professor, you have done well to complete such a difficult task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the Creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop! Seteth, what troubles you? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? I have searched everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh no, 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 what am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedith. Professor, 
We shall continue our discussion another time.